Oh yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's decent. Whoa ho ho! And me without my net. Welcome back to another episode of Lonkers and Box. Today we're out at Ragged Island Refuge in uh, Carrollton, Virginia. And as you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. Current's coming in, it is absolutely busting ass. It's about seven o'clock. It's gonna be high tide, probably around 10, 10.50, uh, if memory serves me correct. I'm out here fishing for anything I can catch. Um, mostly drum and stripers and speckled trout. Never fished here before, but there's a lot of bait fish in here. Depth goes up and down between five feet and 15 feet. And as you can see, tons of grass. And there's also a lot of filler crabs in here. So plenty of food and uh, again, plenty of movement in the water already and it's still shallow. I brought my noodles. Uh, several different lures. I've got the uh, cane walker, which is top water. I got some jigs and I've got some rattle traps. Uh, if there's fish in here, one of those should catch it. Looking forward to seeing what there is out here and who knows, maybe catch a big red drum. Always fun on light tackle. But thanks for coming. Uh, those that have been here before, good to see you again. Those that haven't, please like and subscribe and the little button down there below. Uh, let's get on. All right, so today I'm trying out some finger mullet with my noodles. Frozen, so you can see. And a couple things with noodling or jugging, depending on what state you're in, there are many, many, many different rules. So in Virginia, you gotta always keep them in sight. Uh, you got to have your name, phone number, address labeled on the noodle, and you got to have reflective tape on the front of them. Well, front of them, just on them so that at night you can see them, find them, whatever it may be. Not sure of all the particular reasons. but I try to follow the rules best I can. And I'm gonna fish this main drag. So I'm gonna drop my first one. Right here. I can see it all the way down of what I'm gonna be fishing. It's only a few feet. And I'm pretty sure that's where a lot of people put their kayak when they're hunting duck. So, bobber, keep it close to the edge. Oh, hold on. Fish are jumping. Bait. Sinker. Always do sinker last. That way you don't hook yourself. So apparently there's still some crabs out. Whoa! Stay down there. Not big enough to keep, but interesting. I mean, these things are crawling all over my bait. There's three on that, that one fish. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. 
That is interesting. I also know where I'm gonna come crabbing next year. What I like about using uh, noodles, especially in new areas, I can use different types of bait, fish at different types of level, in different locations, while still targeting what I wanna catch, which is out here drum, trout, stripers. Um, it just allows for a much better fishing experience, more excitement, and then uh, again, I can find out what's truly out here um, without spending necessarily all day and having to switch up baits and try this, try that. It just I can do it all at once. The other cool thing about Ragged Island, and I've got a map at the uh, end of the video, you can also hunt out here. There's plenty of duck hunting. I see ducks out here all the time. You can also deer hunt. There's a bunch of pine islands. You can see a little bit to my right. And there's not a ton of deer, but there are some. And there's tons of funnels, all kinds of different things that, uh, you know, if the deer are moving, you know where they're going to be. Cool place to hunt, just beautiful area. If you ever get a chance, make it out to uh, Ragged Island. One of the things I find that helps uh, when you're noodling on a kayak is my paddle's got little uh, hooks that can just grab the line, like, as you see right there, on both sides of the paddle. And it comes yep. out real easy snags them without having to bend over or try to reach, reach too far out. We got a lot of crabs in here. Didn't see that coming. Did not see that coming. At the mouth of the James River uh, in Virginia, and I would have thought the crabs would have already moved out. It's October, get pretty cold. And it's already getting pretty high, so I gotta be careful. All right. Interesting. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that, that jug right there is popping up and down. And I don't think that's because of tide. Oh no, there's something on that. Well, apparently there's some catfish out here. Look at that. Huh. All right. Obviously guys and guys, you gotta be careful when dealing with catfish. Got the barbs. That's not a bad size. Not bad at all. But I'm not in the mood for catfish. On a finger mullet. And of course I'm using my circle hooks. circle hook bobber hook and wait all right we're good Oh yeah, already. Look at that. <laughs> That's not a trout, but I'll take it. <laughs> not getting skunked today. When you get a chance, check out our description below. You know, I have a link to other 
related videos and of course our group Facebook page where we can share our pictures and other things that we've caught out there. It is blowing. Oh my goodness. A little dab. Let's get that weight over here. That's two for the day. Man. A little skinny thing, but if I wasn't feeling lazy, I'd eat that bad boy. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's decent. Whoa, -ho -ho. and me without my net. That's a little drum. Little drum. I'm saying little drum, but that's because regular big red drums can be four or five times that size. They can be absolutely gigantic, but I'm glad to be catching this one. That's a decent eating size if it's legal. drum all right I caught him using a 1 8 ounce white jig head with white body getting bigger It's blowing pretty good and it's about noon, so I'm, I'm getting hungry. Time to go home for some lunch. I uh, caught a drum, uh, two catfish, and a white perch. Pretty good day. First day at Ragged Island. Nice place to fish. Uh, next time I'll have to come when it's not blowing as bad, but I think it's a good spot. Lots of fish jumping. Again, I'm, at, I'm here at high tide. I'm thinking low tide might actually be pretty good. When it first came in, it was just starting to come in, and bait fish were jumping everywhere. Now high tide, maybe it's the wind, uh, but not a lot of bait fish are moving. It looks like um, so I'm gonna pull up my uh, noodles and head on home. Again, thanks for watching, Lunkers and Bucks. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. It's proven that uh, subscribers to Lunkers and Bucks are just better looking and smarter. It's a fact. Uh, but again, if you want to be part of that, hit like and subscribe. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time, Lunkers and Bucks.